What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to export in 1080 60 frames per second in DaVinci Resolve. Okay so here we are on DaVinci Resolve and I have a clip which is in 60 frames per second, I'll just play it through for you, just this simple clip right here. So let's say you've edited your entire track here, then of course the final thing is heading over to the bottom and selecting deliver. Now, important to note for those that aren't familiar with DaVinci Resolve, these two uh, bars at the top and what is highlighted is going to be your render regions. So whatever selected in there will be rendered. However, it also gives the option here to just select the entire timeline. So if you do have multiple things, then just select that and everything will be selected. So from there, we then head over to the top left. And first thing we can do is name the file. I'll just call this test. We can then choose the location by selecting browse. So I've just put that onto my desktop. Then we can choose whether we want to render as a single clip or individual clips. We can then also choose from the video and the audio so we can customize them here. What I recommend for the format is changing that to MP4. The codec to stay at H.264. Then for the resolution, of course, it's going to be 1920 by 1080 HD. And then for the frame rate, make sure it is at 59.94, also 60 FPS. Now, if you cannot see 60 FPS on the frame rate, it did happen to me. And the way I worked it out is because my project wasn't in 60 frames per second. So head over to file and select project settings, which is also shift nine on the shortcut. And from here, you should be able to see the timeline frame rate at 59.94. If you don't, then make sure you open up a new file and make sure it's set to 60 FPS. So once you're happy with all of the settings, you can simply then go ahead and select add to render queue. And as you can see, it's over here and we can simply select start render. And also just to show you that this clip is 60 FPS, you can see right here, if I head over to the details, it is 1280 by 720. However, it is in 60 frames per second. Now I also want to make a point that if your videos aren't recorded or if any of your videos you're using aren't in 60 frames per second, there's honestly no point of exporting in 60 frames per second because it won't give that smooth lock like it should get. So once it's rendered, I'll get back to you and show you how it looks. A few moments later. And we've just approached the end. You can see at the top right, it does say it is completed. It just took over a minute. And let's go ahead and open that file. So here it is. Remember, we did call it as a test. If I right click that, select properties, you can see it's 146 megabyte. That is not a full, a small file size for a uh, 18 second clip. However, you can see 1920 by 1080 at 60 FPS. We'll just go ahead and open that up. And here is that video completed, exported in 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second.